Hello and welcome back to Talking About. It's been a long time. <laughs> it's been forever. Uh, but that's the problem we have when we have COVID and we have lockdowns and all of those sorts of things. But thank you, Carrie, for being with us this time. And uh, for, uh, judging from the uh, lighthearted conversation we've had before the shoot, mm -hmm. I can imagine that our interview will be a blast. I hope so. Thank you for having me, Joe and Karina. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Really. You're very you're welcome. welcome. So, why don't we, this is Kyrie Anwar. Yeah, Kyrie, this is Kyrie yeah. Anwar. The Kyrie Anwar. The, yeah. the one who got the name of the person that we all love to hate. Oh, I agree with that. That's a very good <laughs> statement, yeah. yeah. So, so, can I start? Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Okay, let me start. I'm, I'm interested to know uh, how you got involved in the performing arts because i know you studied law yeah right yeah. were you involved in the arts before that uh no it's 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 uh we have time right we're not rushing no no yeah uh, so Don't i worry, we'll cut you off if, it, <laughs> if you ramble on we'll, we'll say yeah. okay enough of that let's yeah. move this on is, this is the man with the scissors right. ah okay <laughs> So, so the story started when I was 14. So my mom, gave, I was in boarding school in Sabah, Burnham. Uh, my mom gave me my first digital camera where you have to like switch it on and then the lens will come out. Uh, so I fell in love with filmmaking when I was 14. Right. Uh, and then after SPM, my mom asked me, what do you want to do uh, to, to, for okay. your degree? Yeah. Uh, I said, okay, mama, I want to study filmmaking. I was like, why you are the head student, you get good grades for SPM and PMR, why do you want to study film? Like study law instead. Said, okay, la, then well, why, why do you ask me? <laughs> yeah, so I studied law in UITM, but when I was doing law in UITM, I was still searching for friends who would want to make films with me. But I didn't, I didn't find any because law was like quite a busy life. Uh, but then in law school, we need to create this one mock trial where we have to stage a mock trial mm. for people who does not study law in UITM. Ah, uh, so the non-law people. The non-law people, so they would actually uh, appreciate and know how yeah, yeah, law yeah, making, yeah, yeah. how court how looks like. Laugh. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, so by making and by involving, I was, I was only the light operator when I was doing mock trial. Yeah, I was like, well, this is theater, this is interesting. Uh, and then during rehearsal, um, one of the lecturer who helped us to create the mock trial mm -hmm. uh, explained theatre a bit to me and then, and then I realised that a lot of my favourite film actors, Sharifah Amani, mm -hmm. Namron, Amirul Effendi, Beto Kushairi, Zahiril Azim, mm -hmm. uh, all have <laughs> great names. All very yeah, young yeah, people. Yeah, 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 yeah all yeah. have theatre theater backgrounds yeah. and all yes. my favourite actors from the Hollywood and the UK all mm -hmm. have theatre backgrounds. And I said, oh, why not? I think, okay lah, if I don't have films at the moment, let's just venture into theatre. And then I started to uh, write short Place in UITM, and then we created anomalies together with my law friends. Mm. Did they teach you how to write short? short no, stories? no. You just did it. I just did it. You're just an uh, inborn talent. I, I don't think so, but I think because my mom was a journalist and she's a writer, ah, I've seen her process on how she writes. On you. Yeah, because my father is also a writer, so that's how they know each other. So oh. they were working in Brita Harian together and as New Street's Time Press together. I uh, and I think. Obviously, in the genes, lah. I hope so. Yeah, I, I genuinely yeah. hope so. You have to thank both of them every day when you get up. Thank you very much for putting this <laughs> writing inside me. <laughs> yes, I'm, I will. I've always thought that you're. Forte was writing. Oh, I mean, thank you. you thank know, you. Uh, you, thank you. you. As, and also, uh -huh. you went to work. Doesn't let me finish my sentences. Uh, no, no, I, That's okay. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. You go ahead. And also, <laughs> as you said, political works. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think most of my uh, stories that I want to put up on stage and even in my film, short films, has always been around what my mother taught me since I was small. Mm -hmm. uh, I think. In, in when I was 15 or 16, she brought me around, I think there was GE 13 or GE 12. She brought me to Kelantan to see how the poll works. She brought me around from Kelantan to Pahang to see how people vote because she oh, was covering oh, that area right. at that moment. So, and then she was Were the one- Were you impressed? I was impressed, overwhelmed, but I did not see the 
I don't I don't have the interest in it. Ooh. But my but my mum always tell this to her friends. If Kyrie Jamaluddin cannot be a prime minister, if Anwar Ibrahim cannot be prime minister, <laughs> then Kyrie Anwar should be a prime minister. Then I and then I look at her every time she she said that to her friends like I don't want to be a prime minister at all. Well, let let, yeah. let, let me ask you a question, and this is really treading on dangerous territory. Why why so can sweet. can Kyrie Jamaluddin not be a prime minister? I don't know why. Because my my mother said because he's too bright, lah. I think so. Yes. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every bright young Your people in Malaysia. Cute. Yeah, she is. She is. Definitely is. So from she that, has she has already laid the foundation. Wait, sorry, mm. Jeff. Not she so. has laid the foundation for you. Mm. Uh, she has given you the name. Yes. Uh, so now the rest is up to you. Yes, definitely. So yeah. you you finished law, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then you decided. Screw that for a joke. Yes. Yeah, I'm not really interested in that. Yep. And you followed your heart? Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, How did that happen? Uh, I finished, I, I graduated from UITM in 2016. I did my cha chambering for nine months, but that's another story that happens between that chambering period where I, I got in, into a big fight with my mother. Um, and then during the chambering period, was the first time that I got my salary from the chambering. Doing the chambering was like 1,500 a month. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I got in a fight with my mom and then my mom stopped giving me allowances. Uh, and then I decided for, for <laughs> some other purposes that I would not, because I think I was on the right side and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm being quite a stubborn person, a stubborn, stubborn uh, upper son at that moment. And I, I decided that if my mom does not tell her that she is... Uh, she, she is making a mistake, I would not talk to her, I would not text her. And that lasted for four years. Wow. So yeah. You went for four years without, without communicating with, with my mom. mom and my family members. Wow. Uh, so wow. It was wow. a you very a huge stubborn part. young man then. But, but yeah. was that painful? It was, it was, it was really is because before that I was really close to my mom. I was, I was being very obedient. I studied law because of her. Mm. I did everything because of her. But at that, that one, it, it was, it was a fight that I cannot reveal what it's about, okay. So, so Kyrie, how did, how did that situation resolve, resolve itself? Um, so I, I, I got into the fight with my mom during my chambering period. So after my chambering, I called or I texted Michael Chen. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Because she, he was telling me, hey, after your chambering, just texted me that I can link you up with for a job in the video industry. Mm. So I got into that job and then that's how I started video filmmaking, okay. producing. Uh, but then after four years, I just feel like I had enough with everything. But the, the, the triggering point was my grandmother because I was close to my grandmother and my mother. But my grandmother was the person who brought me up. Uh, because my mom was a very busy lady right. because she was a journalist moving around. When I was asleep, she will be awake with her friends. When I was awake, she will be like still sleeping. So my grandmother has been very close to me. She was the one who brought me up. She called me during the fourth year that I was missing on Raya. And then she was crying on the phone. And mm -hmm. then I was, okay lah. I will, I will just go back and see her. And then that's, who, that's where I started to reconnect back with my grandmother, well, with my aunties, and then eventually my mom. Yeah, so that's uh, and that was a play that I wrote for Chris. Yes. Yeah, yes. it's called Twenty Four Hours in Thirty Seven Years. Yeah. Yeah, but that play revolved was, around my father. Was uh, because I was I, I was twenty seven when I wrote that play, uh, so I was uh, prophesizing. That's not the right word, yeah, but yeah, I was yeah. I was trying to look forward for the next ten years of my life. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, so that's how. The whole episode, and episode how started. How did you get back? How did the relationship with your mum come back? Um, Was it because of that visit in Raya at Raya? Uh, no. So that Raya, I was visiting my grandmother and okay. my auntie who have not met me for four years, just like came around. But my mother, I think I got my stubbornness also from my mother because mm. she doesn't want to come to my grandma's <laughs> house to come and visit me. So... <laughs> Uh, after listening to my grandma and then my aunties and then and then of course the 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 the, the family talk happens like, hey you are the son just go and visit your mother and then I just feel that okay lah it's four years already that I, I don't want because I yeah. I think during that four years I, I've I've done a lot in theater and she's 
the only play that she watched was the first one that I did in DPEC. It's called Theatre Bangsa. And then after that, when when I think I went to Singapore, I went to like uh, travel uh, Malaysia yeah, with yeah, uh, well. Indonesia as well. Mm, mm. She was never there. So I said, okay lah, I, I, I feel that it's enough. And then I was just, I went and see her. But she watched that play? The 24 hours? Yes. Yeah, and she watched. But I didn't tell my family what's it about. Oh, yeah, nasty. so they came in shocked. So my auntie was, my mom, I, I, I said the opposite because it was like a, it was not, it was a, like semi arena. It's like right. three, three sided. Right. Three yeah. Side. Yeah. So I was on this one side and my mom was in this one. And my, my whole family members was on, uh, on that one side. My mom was watching. I don't know whether she had any emotions when she was watching, but my auntie, one, one of my very close auntie, she, she can't watch. She was just like, Oh, like really? that all the way through because yeah it's really about how i grew up with my grandma and my mother and then up until i didn't met them and then up until me trying to look forward 10 years later okay yeah tell me, tell me. So, so if, some, if anybody <laughs> wants to watch that uh, that play is it still available yeah it's up to chris because i i cannot direct ah. that play I, was, it, was it filmed chris, was it taped or anything you know? i don't know i think so i think so it's, 360. 360. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you, you are what Farida and I consider to be a young, uh, a yeah. young practitioner. Mm -hmm. uh, and you are, you're young. Mm. Compared, and, and, compared and, to us. And clever. And clever <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah well, uh, well, clever. He wouldn't be here talking to us if he wasn't clever. Oh, really? Yeah, mm. really. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, I'd be interested to know, Kyrie, what mm. you feel about the state of the arts oh, now. Careful. Heavy, heavy. Yeah, yeah, no, mm. I, I'm, I'm interested to hear your point of view. Mm. Yeah. We are totally different generations. Mm. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it'll be interesting to hear. Um, I'll focus on theatre, like performing arts, right? Mm. Yes. Um, It's hard to survive because if I can really make money of performing as I would never dwell and join filmmaking, to be really honest. Uh, during my five years of making plays with Anomalous, uh, I was trying to really make money out of theatre, like theatre making. Very but I, it's, it's very difficult uh, for me, hence why I need to like tell Michael and then, hey Michael, when I, I'm producing these videos for brands, and uh, can, can I still do my theatre stuff? And then, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, we're on. But did you get to the root of why it is so difficult? I think it's big. It's hard for me not to point fingers or blame, but this is just me, no, no, my, my own personal fine. thing. Yeah. I think uh, theatre for the past three, four hundred years have been always been supported by some kind of like uh, 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 a government or yes, authorities. Yes. Right, right. Um, yeah, and we you don't have, unfortunately have, be, have that yes. You have situation. to be somebody who knows somebody else and somebody else yes. this, this, the no, connections. If, connections. You yes. at, if you look at other major countries who do mm. a lot of theatre, you look mm. at Japan, mm -hmm. you look at Korea, mm, even North Singapore, Australia, Singapore, India, India, mm. they are also very heavily subsidized. Yes, like, uh, mm. and, and, uh, and not only that, do you agree that, that one of the biggest problems we have is that theatre nowadays is not taught in schools? Yes, the, definitely, the literature definitely, and plays and. Uh, I mean, this is this is our biggest bugbear. Mm. So, when you went to UITM, mm -hmm. uh, and there was a chance for you to voice your opinions mm -hmm. about the sadness that sad has, state of affairs. Yes, yeah, state yeah. of affairs mm -hmm. that has uh, befallen the theatre. Mm -hmm. Did you constantly speak about those things to your? fellow students or, mm. or to your lecturers and so mm. on. Did you make any kind of an impact? Uh, at that moment when I was speaking to them, I did not have any certain achievement that they would listen to me. I uh, uh, because I was, because when I, the first, uh, the first and the second year that I was doing anomalies, uh, we uh, not many people know us at that moment. Yes. So when we when we were speaking, you it's such a name. Yeah, <laughs> it's very hard to pronounce. Uh, but people were, were were not really listening to me back then. Uh, so I decided to keep on making. So I think instead of uh, championing or talking or or, or, or like fighting you for did. a cause, you did. Yeah, I did. Uh, I think 
my main goal now is to create first and let people to know my name and my company's name mm. first and yes. then I think anything that I would talk about will be listened out yeah. quite ah, thoroughly yeah, yeah, after. Yeah. Yeah. We, need, yeah. we need the voice of the young. Mm. Yes, we need the voice of the young to really make it hurt like, like, like Anwar was when he mm. was in the university. You yeah. know? Those days, you remember, mm. you remember in the uh, 70s, right? I think. 80s, 90s, I 80s, think. 80s, yeah. 90s. Mm. Uh, you remember this young person who is so uh, outspoken. Mm -hmm. And this is the kind of uh, words and uh, uh, people that we must develop. Mm -hmm. Not be. You know, a long time ago, um, uh, people used to have boxes at street corners and stand on the box and speak. Mm, right? Yeah, yep. Where are they now? Yeah. Where have they gone to? Why yeah. can't we do that? They've all been put in jail, Farida. Yeah. No, you won't. You won't. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Put in jail. Mm. I think it is an exciting idea. But, yeah. but would you also agree <clears throat> that particularly, well, in, in your time that you've been involved in theatre, mm -hmm. that there has been uh, a lot of or much more interest from the younger generations. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. yeah. I think uh, during mm, the very short time that I've been involved in theatre, uh, I, I first I, I was first involved with Revolution Stage with mm -hmm. Abang Abang Wan, Karun Azwan Rosie. Yes. Uh, and then whatever students that studied with Abang Wan that, that joined the class created their own theatre companies. Mm. Uh, whether it's bad or not for the whole scene is a totally and different I, different different topic yes, altogether. I think it's creating because Planting people, the sea. Betul, uh, mm. people were having much more interest, young people were much more daring to talk about what they think about yeah. if uh, uh, but then the question of whether quantity and quality have to be given or it's also like the late Mustafa Nong mm. who was not afraid. Mm. And also the gang that mm. he had around him, mm -hmm. Norman Nordin and, mm. uh, and the like. But of course, they are much older than you, mm. uh, Fatima and Fatima Bubaka, yes. and all that. And so it has now come down to her beautiful daughter, Sharifa Amani. Yeah, yeah. And still with the same blood. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, got the same blood. Mm -hmm. Got the mm -hmm. same blood. But yes. do, you, do you feel, though, Kyrie, that uh, even though there is this interest mm. from the young generation, that something is lacking yeah there, there's no catalyst for them to ah. keep on moving forward right. uh, when, when when i went to singapore with omar uh, mm. for a uh, singapore theater festival uh, and then alfian saad that's when the love of fair happened uh, i know <laughs> yeah, so yeah alfian saad told us that if we were to create a new theater company in singapore the national Art Centre, Arts, Arts Council yes, will yes. give us a form of a grant yes. for the first three years. Yes. We don't have that in Malaysia. So no. for example, if, if for example if anomalies were given the first three years of a grant, I can just focus on writing and directing. Mm. I do not have to cr like work and then have my focus shift yes, yes, from yes. working and then from making theatre. Mm. Uh, I think even uh, even with my uh, time that I spend because I work for 8 hours and I can only write for like the next 4 hours from yeah, 6 yeah. to 10 p.m. and then I need to go to rehearsals. Mm. That is very tight. I, I love theatre so much mm. but I think if we we were to be it's given the chance draining. it's very draining. It's very draining. We, we don't have much investors. At, we, we do have people who want to invest mm. but I think the 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 support have to really come from the I, I don't want to say the word government, but authorities. people, authorities. Yeah. Because yeah. if the artist does not play the part that they are interested in making the arts mm. accessible to everyone, making the arts to be imported and exported, mm. uh, like how we Korean did. We need to have some kind of leadership. Correct, correct. The kind of leadership that will, that, that will make people stand up and pay attention. Correct. But don't have. But yes. I think I think what the biggest that I I kind of touched on it earlier. Mm -hmm. The biggest problem we have mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. is the fact that our the powers that be in this mm -hmm. country, unfortunately, I don't think they see the value. Yes, yes, in yes. the performance yes. in theatre. Mm -hmm. You know, they they see the value in, or they don't even see the value, but they will spend a lot of money on. On cultural dances and like, mm. well, which is fine. Yeah. No, it's yeah. not fine. No, it is fine as long as 
you don't disregard all the other stuff. Yes, you know, I agree. As long as you don't make it difficult for people to perform mm -hmm. Usman Awan's works, mm -hmm. you know, as long as you, as long as these, as, you know, they took his works out of the schools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. all, 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 all the classic, uh, I mean, uh, uh, um, all the writers, uh, the, the jewels of our literature society, mm -hmm. it makes it so hard for us to do their works on mm. the stage. Mm -hmm. because, I mean, sure, we do not, we do not mind about copyright at all. Yep. It's not the yep. problem of copyright. No. It is how you handle the copyright. Yes, yes. Agree. But the thing is, uh, I think, um, uh, uh, Kyrie, mm -hmm. is it because you think that literature mm -hmm. is not taught in the schools and that's where that's what is causing us this dearth mm. of knowledge we don't have mm. is literature not taught in school no uh, i think i think there's two things i think literature is taught in school but the teachers who's teaching it is not like an, a passionate teacher who's teaching yes. literature yeah. because we, we have literature subject yeah. but who, yeah. who love like very very minimal person yes. yeah. like yes. that and the other uh, the other the other thing is when when i was doing politic uh, p o h l i t h i k yes. the yeah. play uh, in 2019 uh, one of my research found out that back in the 1970s uh, when when I think it was it was when a lot of theatre makers was was doing plays, yes. uh, questioning uh, yes. the government, yes. questioning like stuff, Dinsman. and yeah, yeah. like like Dinsman. Uh, and then at that moment in time, not just theatre makers or filmmakers, uh, because government were like uh, putting them in jail. They also putting students mm. in jail mm. because that's when Aoku started. So I think it, uh, from 1970s up until the 2000 when Anwar Ibrahim was in jail, uh, people have been taught to be afraid of the government, to be to, uh, to be afraid of questioning whatever the government is is is, is really, yeah? deciding. So I think at this moment, what we have taught is the, the society that I've seen from my, my my point of view is they don't want to go to theater because there's no more interesting theater pieces that question about the yeah. government anymore because we we can't question about the government religion about our race about anything else and that's not because all of our theater plays and films have been exciting because of that yes, uh, yes. so now our audience does not have not been fed with such yeah. good plays so good films yeah. so we don't you have audiences the anymore. confrontation issues and what have you got left Nothing. yeah in the really? comedy, the entertainment yeah, 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 values yeah. only. Yeah. So I think we lost our audience in that thirty years. I think, mm. I think at least my generation now, my my focus now is to create not because of entertainment. I think that's why I have been writing about social economics and social political mm. issues because I think for my age of young writers, it's very rarely for for me to see that. And because I have my mother who have been feeding me all that for the past right. thirty years, I think I have that think all around so I yeah. Yeah, pick up yeah. a few pieces but yeah. uh, people like uh, uh, what's his name you're the Malaysian person who has uh, left our shores and gone to live uh, Huzair Sulaiman oh, ah. yeah, we should not be losing people like yes. that yep. we should keep them in our country mm -hmm. so because their knowledge is so important to our youngsters mm -hmm. is Alfian Singaporean or no Singa it's Singaporean Singaporean, Singaporean. Yeah. 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 Right, right, right. Okay. yeah yeah yeah. A bad boy in Singapore. Uh, we've, been, we've been given a five minute. Oh, okay. Five, yes. But um, you, you know, um, I, I, would, in the last five minutes that we have, uh, Kyrie, I, Joe, and I, I mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. we want to kind of make an appeal to mm -hmm. people like you mm -hmm. and the likes of you, mm -hmm. your friends mm -hmm. and your enemies or your yeah. whoever they are, mm -hmm. to have this same vision mm -hmm. and the will. That mm. you have mm. to make it happen. We cannot give up. Yes. We must yeah. not give up, right, yeah. Joe? The, the, your generation, particularly, <clears throat> yeah, needs to. But get it's stuck a, into it's the it. meat. It's the mm. meat. It's the subject yeah. matter. Mm -hmm. It's. And, but as 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 Kyrie said, I think I think a lot of a lot of writers. Especially of this generation, of, of his generation. I'm not writing. No, no, they're not writing because maybe they th feel that oh, There's if no I write, audience. no, no, there is an audience. But if I write what I want to write and what the audience wants to hear, it will be dangerous. Like if I do a political play, then I could possibly get put into jail yeah. or something, you know. Yep, yep. And I yep. think there's that fear. Yeah. And yep. and that's I think that's one of the major problems, particularly because. 
young writers want to write about issues. We must have yeah. a debate yes. with the powers that be yes. and have a face to face and say, what are you doing to us? Mm. You are taking away the desire mm. to survive in the performing arts. Mm. So the need to survive in the performing yeah. arts. But I think, you know, slowly, slowly cats the monkey. I think what, what needs to happen is that the the writers of today, the How young, long have we to you know, the young up and coming writers, you know, uh, and and I think I think Kyrie is in a wonderful position because yeah. he, he he is a bloody good writer. Yeah, oh, thank you. And I think I think you know if we have people like Kyrie mm -hmm. and his ilk, yeah, creating like yeah creating the kind of work. Mm -hmm. Even, you know, even I think, Kyrie, if, if you came to us and said, I, I want to write this play, mm. all right? Now, it's pretty dicey. Mm. I don't know whether it will get approved or not, mm. you know? We would say, go ahead. Mm. We would say, we will help you in any way we can. That's wonderful. And that's the kind of, that's the kind support. of support that, I mean, we can give. Writers mm. yeah. need. Yeah, uh, writers need that kind mm. of support because yeah. You could slave over writing a damn play, and if no one's interested to even mm -hmm. talk to you about it mm -hmm. or support mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. then why are you doing that? Yep. In, in all the books that um, um, Amir Muhammad's uh, shop has, mm -hmm. uh, you mean to say that there are no books that are supposed to excite oh, the there person? Are. Like there, are. There, are. there are, but, and, but and they're not plays for you. Yeah. They're, they're well, not plays. From books, you can turn them. Into yeah, but, yeah, but it's a different, yeah. totally different audience, and, and the authorities work on it totally differently. Yeah, and and the other thing is, I think, I think one one person told me that Malaysian is like the the watching audience rather than a reading audience. Yes. Oh God. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hence why, if we if we, like people who read books in Malaysia, definitely have more like general knowledge yeah, yeah, and they are much yeah. more aware. Of you things. know, every time every time we go out, if, if, if we go to a coffee shop or like places like Starbucks mm. or Coffee Bean or whatever, any of those places or restaurants uh -huh. or restaurants mm -hmm. and and we see someone reading a book yeah. as opposed to playing with their phones. Playing with their phones, we go up to them and say, Oh, thank you for reading a book mm -hmm. you know? Because a lot of Malaysians don't I think they've forgotten what books are, are yep. you know? Yep. Yeah. One anyway, of, yeah, one of the reasons I got married to my I proposed early to my wife is because she reads book all the time. Ah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, wonderful. One of the reasons. Yeah, you are. yeah so I want to like just make grab it that last moment. Forever. Yeah, make it last forever and go into your next generation. <laughs> yes. Your son will mm -hmm. also capture this. So, Kyrie, um, Kyrie, the future, and I'm not joking here. The future of Malaysian theatre mm -hmm. rests fairly and squarely on your on shoulders. On your shoulders, really, Whoa. and the shoulders Whoa. of people like you, which mm. unfortunately there aren't too many, mm. but it rests on your shoulders. So mm. you have, I believe, we believe you have a huge responsibility. Yeah. Do you believe you have a responsibility? I, I believe so, but I try not to think so much about it. Yeah. <laughs> because it frightens you? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. no, no. You must not be afraid of it. Yeah. You, I mean, like you mentioned Michael Chen's name mm. uh, more than once and Chris Ling and all yep. that. Mm. There are people out there who will Mm. want to come to your support, mm, who yes. will want to, to listen to you. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, it has not happened enough for, for you mm, and that's why moment. you kind of back away mm. from mm. The, the world of the performing arts. Mm. The world of the performing arts needs you, uh, mm. Harry. Mm. So, yes. don't ditch us. I won't, I, I won't, yeah. definitely won't. Don't. Yes. Don't. I think we're getting yeah. the wind up. <coughs> thank yeah. you, mm. Karen. Um, thank you so much. Yeah. Well, we, um, actually, there's so much we haven't yeah. covered. We'll have a version two. We'll have to have a we'll yeah. have to have a Kari Anwar take two <laughs> session yeah. for this. But yeah. thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Joe. Yeah. Thank you for that. We haven't having. spoken about your films yet. Wow. <laughs> the film that you saw, which yes. you liked very much. Yes. Not released yet, right? Or cannot be released in Malaysia. Totally cannot. Oh, because, because we because question. Of the content. Yeah, we question religion. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, I see. Yeah. That's why. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, cannot question religion. Yeah. No, oh. she's a very intelligent girl. Very. Mm. Aisha. Yes. Uh, okay. Well. Kari Anwar, thank you so thank very you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, well. Peace well. Cheers, mate. Yes, cheers. Yeah.
Thank you.